Royal right now, that school board is divided on Valentino. Some of them say they still feel he's the man to get the job done here, while others say the people in their district are demanding Valentino goes. It's been a rocky start for Albuquerque Public Schools Superintendent Luis Valentino. Emails sent between APS's Chief Financial Officer Don Moya and the new Deputy Superintendent Jason Martinez surfaced about a company APS was considering doing business with. In them, Moya expresses concern that the head of the company was fired for allegedly taking bribes. Moya is supposed to be looking out for the district's financial interests. But Martinez fired back, Not your call, Don. The work will move forward as planned. The next day, Valentino sent this text saying he was going after Moya. It was meant for the Secretary of Education, but went to Moya instead. Hours later, Moya was put on leave. Valentino's credibility took another hit when Action 7 News learned APS never did a background check on former Superintendent Jason Martinez, a man who is facing sexual assault on a child charges out of Colorado. Some school board members admit people in their district are growing tired of Valentino and want him gone. My constituents are asking for everybody to step down uh, and vacate and for us to go back to the drawing board and bring someone else in. Other board members think Valentino can turn it around, but admit they've lost some confidence in him. I think that there should be, you know, a verbal reprimand um, to show him that, hey, we're not so confident in you right now. Board member Lorenzo Garcia told Action 7 News he's still confident in Valentino, but says there's still a lot of questions out there about what happened. Questions board members hope to get answered at their meeting with the superintendent tomorrow. And for the last two days, we've been reaching out to Valentino to see if he'll talk to us about any of these situations here. But so far, he's not returned our calls. Reporting for Northeast Albuquerque, Mike Springer, KOAT Action 7 News.